It was hard not to listen to my mother. Her German accent made her sound distinctive, and her expressions, often translated literally, made you pay attention to make sure you had understood. Part of listening to my mom meant listening to stories of her daily life, her early life, as well as her cultural background. Mom told a lot of stories about her life in Germany before coming to the US. She tried to explain herself to, and her culture to anyone who would listen. I was used to seeing quizzical looks from people as they tried to understand. Our upbringing was loving, but all the same, just a little different from the other kids. Instead of the man in the moon, we heard about Vater Mond und Mutter Sonne, Father Moon and Mother Sun. We learned German nursery rhymes and fairy tales at the same time we were learning them in English and learning Mother Goose. On Saturday mornings, when other kids were at home watching cartoons, we were at German school. In the morning, we were greeted with Ausgeschlafen oder aufgehört? Did you wake up or were you woken up? Meal times always started with guten Appetit, to which we had to answer Danke gleichfalls, thanks, the same to you. If we slouched in our chair, we heard Aufrecht, sit up straight. There were many other momisms, but mostly I noticed they were life lessons, things I would have to learn sooner or later. She often said, I would make enough of my own mistakes. She wanted to spare me some of the hard lessons. That was her tough love. If you don't have it in your head, you have it in your feet. Meant, if you forget something, you have to walk back and get it. <laughs> Erstens kommt es, zweitens als man denkt. Means things don't always work out the way you planned. Literally, first it comes, second as you think. Some of the lessons were very similar to the ones I heard in English. I guess moms are the same all over. After a while, I learned that sweep in front of your own door meant minding your own business. And morning hour has gold in the mouth, Morgenstund hat gold im Mund, meant the same thing as early to bed and early to rise. The German influence was everywhere. A picture of my sister sitting on a rock, she compared to Lorelei sitting by the Rhine. In the morning, we were told to wash the sand from our eyes because the Sandmännchen, the little sandman, had been there. Some of mom's observations were beautiful. When she saw the dark trees and houses against a blue-green evening sky, she would always mention Scherenschnitt, or scissor cut, referring to the craft of cutting out silhouettes on black paper. When she saw snowflakes coming down, she told the story of an old lady named Frau Holle shaking out her feather bed. Then Engelreisen lacht der Himmel, when angels travel heaven smiles, meant we were having good weather for going on a trip. And I always liked our tradition of singing Stille Nacht in German and then in English. It wasn't Christmas without it. Other times my heritage led to some funny moments. During a family trip to Germany in 1975, Japanese tourists wanted to take a picture of me as a typical German girl because I was actually wearing a dirndl, something no other German girl of the time was. <laughs> they were wearing jeans and t-shirts. <laughs> Some phrases mom just couldn't translate, so we had to learn German to understand what she really meant. There was often another meaning behind the literal translation. Übermut tut selten gut literally translates as over courage does seldom good. When mom said that, it really meant, stop jumping on the bed. <laughs> I heard you loud and clear, mom. It pays to know how to listen to your mother. <laughs>